Hello everybody. Welcome to Daily Codes. So I have been working on a data engineering project for I think the past week or so. And what you are seeing here in front of your screen is a beautiful dashboard that is giving us no insight, but um, we can use it as a dashboard, a dashboard having charts. Um, what you're seeing here is the uh, hourly temperature for Uganda and Kenya. Assuming you want to go to, to, to one of these countries and you want to compare them, then price uh, per liter, price of fuel per liter um, daily. This data is being gotten from these two websites. Um, we have Kenya gasoline prices and this. So this is then Kuski or Ventaski.com slash Nairobi and uh, <coughs> global petrol prices .com. Um, so this data is coming from here and it is being served here but how is it being served that is the project as a whole that uh, I have been working on and I would like to show you so this data that is presented here is presented uh, using Dash, Profi Dash, uh, is a framework of Python that is used to build dashboards. The dashboard that I'm showing you here is not so much complicated, but uh, it serves the purpose. And um, the data, the movement of data from here to the dashboard takes a kind of a, a process of uh, data engineering, and you can see that. Um, the data has been, we are, I have been fetching the data from 20th of October up to 24th of October, which today is October. Um, so that means that on 25th also it will fetch the data. So I have a system um, behind that is um, fetching this data from these two websites and then saving it somewhere. And that system is called Apache Airflow. Um, that I've set up and you can see I have two DAGs uh, in the preceding videos after this I'm going to show you how to set up this and how to set up a dash and how to get data from websites majorly it is fetching data and then scraping it using beautiful soap and then how to save that data into a database and the database that I'm using here is uh, a Postgres database, you can see here. Uh, this Postgres database, I have a database here called Scrape Data in Postgres, and then there are two schemas here. So the data that uh, you are seeing on that dashboard is in these three tables. And then, so after fetching data from, from these two sites, the data is cleaned or scraped depends on how you, you look at it or how you call it using um, using a beautiful soap and then the data is posted to an API the API I have built for this project I have built using fast API is a framework in Python also that is used to, to set up APIs and uh, this API is using SQL alchemy to create for me model objects and uh, to, to create for me schemas for serialization and so forth. Um, so I have the three tables that uh, I have just shown you here the exchange rate, the fuel, the weather. You see some data here that is data about the weather. So that data. Um, after scraping the data that we have fetched, so Airflow helps you to fetch. After scraping it, you post it into uh, to this API. When you post it to this API, the data is saved into the Postgres database, and then we can also serve. For example, if I want to see QLs, I can try out this API, and then we run this, I can get all that data. So this is the project that I want to show you in this video series on how to um, connect all these Python frameworks so that you can be able to fetch data, not necessarily 
web scraping, but it will be data from another database and we are building ETLs that will help you to move data from a transactional database into a storage warehouse or a database or a data lake. Um, this project is complete, uh, complete meaning that uh, I've done what I wanted. You can always fork it and maybe add something and then you can do send a merge request or a peer review and then give you an answer. This is an open source thing which you can play with. Um, but for the, the the purpose of this project, I think I am done. So these are the technologies that I've used to build that project. And I'm going to show you some bit of uh, the architecture here. So the structure I mean is the, of the project. So I have Airflow. And uh, these are files that I have created so that I, they can support Airflow. I have uh, API. So this is first API files that helps um, uh, first API to communicate with uh, Postgres DB. And then I have Dash. These, these are files that help, help help us to build the dashboard. Then I have these other supporting files like Fetch. This one is, this is helping with fetching data from the website. Then I have these other libraries that uh, still help us to post data, for example. Um, then scrape data, fetch data. So these are libraries that are either used in fetch or in scrape. Um, so here we have script that will help us to script the data. I have scripts here. These are scripts that help us to set up the project. Rotational deletion of logs for first API. I mean, first API. The logs for um, Apache Airflow and so forth. So this is the project that uh, I'm going to run um, a few tutorials in this video series in, in the next coming days. Yeah, so um, in the next video, you're going to see how I'm going to set up this project. And then we shall start with the project until we finish. Oh, there is also this part here. I'm, I'm going to show you. So this part here uh, shows us the, the servers where they're running. There are several uh, tabs that are running the server. So this is a server for uh, Fast API that is running has only one server then this is a server for airflow so airflow runs on two servers one is the scheduler and then the second one is the web server so these two are for um, airflow so the scheduler helps in running the phone jobs and uh, and uh, helps you in scheduling the, the tasks that are running on airflow then the, the web server helps you to access the airflow using the UI, what, what you can see here, and this is possible for us to see this because of the way the server is running. Right? Then I have uh, this server that is running here is for um, Plotly Dash that is helping us to serve the um, to serve Dash application. Um, so then um, I have nothing else, this is just me. VS code um, for the project. The link to the whole repo is uh, in the description. Until the next video, uh, click here and uh, don't forget to click on the next video if it is showing on the screen.